Hi, it's Jill with Crick Flicks, and I am going to be doing, hopefully, numerous videos today. Um, I'm finishing up an order here of this precious little boy who just turned three, I believe it is. I'm going to do some glittering on him first, and then I'm going to go over how I made... He's got Nemo and Dory, that's the theme of his party, and we've got... Um, a few different images, or he uh, he's in all four of the images, but different ways that we did it. Jen is working on a couple that she'll send me pictures. Um, I was going to tell her to film, but she's not comfortable <laughs> with that yet. So we're working on it. Amy's in Vegas getting married today. She's, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Um, she got, she went, yeah, they left yesterday, and they get married at 5 o'clock. So I told them to FaceTime me or us as soon as they were married. And we're having the party at her, in her backyard at their new log home. Um, I believe it's on October 8th or 7th or something like that. But um, decided just for that they were going to go by themselves to Vegas because we're leaving for Disney World shortly and to pressure, not, not pressure, but even make anybody feel bad because they, they couldn't go to her wedding and Disney both. Uh, we all just said it made more sense for them to just go and do it and then we'll have the reception when they get back. Not really a reception picnic. I think I've already talked about this probably numerous times, but I am super duper, super duper excited. And anyway, so I have that going on and... I'm trying to think because I have something else. I just we just had Kiki's graduation from um, her nursing, so she's now an RN, and we're excited about that. And let me see. Um, there's more excitement, but I can't announce it yet. <laughs> so now nobody knows what I'm talking about. I can just about imagine. I forgot to grab a little bit of the black here for his hair. Um, oh, there we go. I had to get a new chair, guys. Uh, um, I really, I, I remember telling when I got the the uh, new wheels that were like wheels on, on roller blades. I thought, oh, these are awesome because they were so smooth and just really awesome. Well. Unfortunately, all of the bearings fell out of one of the wheels. The bearings just fell out. So, um, I and my chair was pretty old. It was probably from 10, 15 years ago when I did other crafting and stuff. So I told my husband, please, let's just get a new chair and, and not try and fix this anymore because it was ripping in the arms and on the seat and everything. So he went out and got me this chair. And I really like it, uh, but it's and still another chair that for some reason it's got really, really smooth moving wheels. And I shoot across the floor quite frequently. Now on this picture, the, the, the color was not as, as good as I would have liked it. And this is why I'm going to just really plaster it with glitter and outline and things to bring out the clarity a little bit. Um, he has sand all over his body. My daughter-in-law is working on the other pieces and she thought it was a reflection of the sun, but he was holding a sand, buckle in, a sand bucket in one hand. And that was the why there was this all over his tummy. It's, it's sand. He was wet and the sand stuck to him. So I am putting mercury, co platinum color all over. I thought I had mercury. Platinum color all over for the sand on his tummy. The other side is already done. I put the glossy accents in his eyes and on his mouth. And then I'm going to really focus in on his swim trunks because they're a little bit more blurry. Um, in the areas where I couldn't get a real good definition of his fingers and, and so on, I don't want to outline that because it has a tendency 
to make it look more distorted. It just doesn't look right. It looks kind of distorted. So I don't do, I just leave the hands how they are because the whole thing doesn't have to be accent, and as well as the feet. I am not going to get in and try and outline um, very lightly. Uh, I just don't want to outline the whole thing and have it look goofy. So, and let me see here. i got to tell you a story about Wyatt the other day. Um, Wyatt was sitting in the car, and he said to his mommy, he says, he said, um, I prayed to, I asked God for a, a new bike. He's, he, he's four years old, but he's learned how to ride a dirt bike, a two-wheeler without training wheels, when he was just barely three, because um, he's in his second year. He just turned four this spring, um, in the end of May, actually. He was riding, riding a bike, what I thought was very early, however, you know, my memory is shot. I don't remember at what age my kids did what, but I thought it was early. He's really into it. He'll ride around on his bike and stand up on the seat, and and he wears a helmet, just to let you know if anybody worries or says something, he does always have a helmet on. He's a safe driver, but he loves to do acrobats when he's on his bike. And one of the biggest ones that he does is standing up. And he asked her, he says, yeah, yeah, it was okay if he asked God for a new bike. And my daughter said to him, well, that's not type, the type of thing that you ask God for. That would be something that you might ask Santa Claus for or mommy, daddy, whatever. But God, and she proceeded to tell what God does for us. Well, it helps us, keeps us safe, you know, and, and just was telling him how, how, and what, I, I can't explain it all, but after she really went into detail what she would, he should be praying for, if he's praying to God, it would not be asking for a bike, and it would be things, and after she was through explaining, she said, so what he does, he hel helps us um, and get in, and gives us the things we need, like the, the, the strength to get through hard times, and blesses us with all sorts of things and he's listening very intently and when she's through she kind of asks him well did you understand that why so you you feel good about what you know you can ask for and and you know to keep you safe and to keep the family safe and and whatever and he's and for things that that we need and he says yeah I did but he said I also told God I really needed a bike so he thought that need, he took it to the nth degree, and he just says, well, God, I really need a bike. So um, I love the way a four-year-old's mind thinks, because as far as he's concerned, he does love biking. Um, Amy is in Vegas now getting married. Um, I was going to say, I'd asked before about what the kids should call them because it's really a, 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 a touchy subject and um, everyone had said the kids I appreciate everybody's feedback and I would say 100% of the 100% of the responses not just a couple but everybody that answered everybody said the same thing the kids should be allowed to call their stepdad whatever they're comfortable with and somebody had mentioned, a couple of people mentioned what I felt about it is having come from a divorced parent, one of the things that, that people don't realize unless they've come from it and lived through it is um, the feeling of unity and, and um, feeling as one. Not, it, it's, I don't know, it, it's hard to explain, but I know what I felt and when my dad remarried and had my brother, I wanted to live with them because I wanted that unity of family. So, um, anyway, their, their biological father uh, won't allow, keeps telling the kids that he's not their father. Well, he doesn't know, he doesn't know that she's getting married today. And as of today, he will be her, the kid's stepfather. They, they may have told him because they're excited. So now, Little Wyatt um, keeps saying, hey, Daddy Doug, um, you know, laughing and teasing. But 
uh, yeah, I, I had they she I talked to both and they kind of asked me what I, I thought the the little, my grandkids I said what do you want to call them and um, why it's, you know people barks out he wants to call him Daddy Doug and no matter what they call him Doug is not their dad and never will be. However, they don't call their dad dad they call their dad Poppy, so it wouldn't be like they were calling him the same name. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think, too, when they're all together, because they come from, a, they both have two kids, but, but by the previous marriage, but his two have his last name, and the baby brother has his last name. And now Amy will have his last name. And so I think there's things that, that kids just need or want, and everybody has voted that, yes, he should, they should call me one. So, anyway, I really went off on that one, didn't I? But that all started from him wanting a bike, asking God to bring him a bike. And I went, um, I know what I was going to tell the other day, and I had forgotten. I went in to get my nails done, which somebody said they really like my nails painted red. Thank you. I haven't had a color painted on them in years. Do I go off on a tangent? There we go. I think he looks cute. And um, I got a pedicure, and she got all done with my nails and said, okay, move over to the place to sit where they dry them at the nail place. We have to put them on the sinks to dry. And I have no idea why I did it, but I stepped off of the chair right into the water where she had done my feet, had, had the, where they do your feet in those massage, or not massage, in those pedicure ch chairs. <laughs> and she just kind of looked at me like, what the heck? I just stepped right in it. And I started laughing while I was hoping I didn't do any damage to my nails because I didn't dare ask her to please, please redo them. I said, oh, the water didn't hurt them. We're fine. We're all good. Okay, I'm going to do some, um, let me, I can't sit this guy up to stand yet. I will. Before I close this up, I'm going to tell you, I told you all uh, that I was going to be starting a new line of things um, that are going to be more dimensional. And I had gone over all of the, the C corals and things that I had gotten, and these lights that I actually love, um, and you can set them on a timer, so when you make a decoration for a child, which I'm gearing more to making decorations that after the party, you can use them in the child's room. Um, you don't have to just throw them away. Or, and another thing, anybody who has ordered, I would not recommend throwing them away. I would recommend like maybe um, reselling them on eBay or something. Um, okay, this has a timer on it. It stays on for eight hours and shuts off for 16, these lights. This is going to be one of the elements that I'm going to be using. I shouldn't say I, we, because Amy is joined forces. Um, those we're going to be using, and we have, I've got some pails over here. I think I'll grab them because I think they're so cute. What I'm counting on is the young minds of my daughter and granddaughter, not granddaughter, my daughter and my daughter-in-law. Um, so I'm picking up things that I'm asking them to think outside the box of things that they can do. Um, these I got at Target for a dollar each and got all sorts of ideas of things that we will use these for, either turned upside down and the piece made on top because I, my husband has a there's a way that I can put a thing on top to hold a peg to use this as a base. These are Halloween co colors or fall colors. Um, oh, I guess these are more of a copper. And then I got one gray and the black. Um, that was all they had. I bought everything that they had. What's going to happen with the stuff that I do when I get certain things that were on, I got a bunch of stuff on clearance. It's going to be kind of an order of one and done. So, um, they'll only be available whatever amount I got. Um, I'm trying to get here. I got the regular fish bowls that I'm going to be doing today. And I showed these before. And then I got these garden dishes. They're plastic. I don't want glass. Um, all of these things are going to be um, somehow joined in with whatever kind of parties we do. And then I have got a bunch of mason jars in different colors and different sizes. All of these were on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Um, 
And so I got some of those and I got some little tiny ones. I will be filming a lot of things that we are going to be doing. And actually these tin buckets, I got these. I bought everything that they had at the dollar store. So again, some of this stuff is going to be one of a kind because I'm not going to look for this stuff um, afterwards. This is These are just going to be unique little things. And, oh, they even put a piece of string in there. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to grab the blue one. I'm going to be putting out something else on here. But you know what? I am going to put the blue one on this guy. I'm going to punch a hole in here and take this thing out. Yep. Yep, that's going to be what I'm going to Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, this is the kind of thing I'm going to be doing. I'm sending this aside because I'll be using that. And I showed you those, and I got some little tiny mason jars. Um, I'm thinking these will, the little tiny things will be something that will be held or somehow to a, a centerpiece. I'm not making centerpieces this tiny. That, that's crazy. That's not happening. And. What else do I have right here? The mason jars. I'm not going to wrap, unwrap them all. They're all different colors. This one is a lantern. I get different kinds of... of um, this is a lantern. Different kinds of jars. I just went into the clearance of Hobby Lobby. And I got some of these lanterns. This was all like 60% off. So... This was 60% off, $6. That, I, I wish I had enough closet space because you guys have no idea how many things that I want to incorporate. And I sure hope that Jen and Amy can get those juices flowing to be creative, which I'm sure they can. Um, I can't remember I had this on, put this on once. But these little... Oh, I put it on wrong, I think. I can't, oh, it doesn't go on there. It goes on the jar. It goes on the on the actual lantern. Duh. Well, anyway, that, those I'm going to be using. And so you're going to see some projects coming up that are going to be a little bit different than things I've been doing. It's time to progress forwards. And... Um, I can't remember what else. I know I got more. I have it all. I can't figure out where to put it. But I'm really excited to do uh, some really different kinds of things. The thing I love, absolutely love the most are these these lights. I wish they would have come out with these years ago to put in Christmas villages because you're always dinking around with the lights and turning them on and off with their battery. And I love the fact. These are in my bedroom with my lanterns. And I have them in my Mickey room where Tinkerbell is in the lantern I made with Tinkerbell has these lights in them. You just ball them up and throw them in there. Uh, I cannot remember the cost on these. I got them on Amazon and you just look for miniature lights. Um, I don't believe they were very expensive but Amazon does have them. I've got two different brands because I didn't know if there was a difference between the two and there is not other than the color of the wire. This one's got a copper and the other one has a silver. Okay, now that's going to be it and I will be back to finish up this piece that I'm working on now. So I'm going to restart the camera when I get myself ready here. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I have got my Nemo in my door all cut out. I got a couple extra ones actually, cut a page full out, that are going to go on here. And what I'm using are these skewers for um, shish kebabs. If they're thinner and they've got the little point on the end, which the way that I'm going to put them on, I don't think is really going to matter. But I need the other side here. I'm only going to assemble two right now that are going to be going in the bowl. So, and um, let me see here. I think, I think I'm right. I've got some little tiny, thin sticks here that I'm going to use since these are such little pieces. Oh, come on. Well, that does not want to open for me. I love these Ziploc bags, so don't zip. Unzip. Well, I guess I will 
cut it and put them in a different container. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to put some this way. And so I don't want real big, thick on these little tiny pieces. These little um, pieces are three and a half inches, four inches long, and about this one. No, they're both about four inches long. Um, I went by the length uh, because I needed to fit two of them in a centerpiece, so I didn't want them too big. All right. Whoops. It's not noisy. Enough, is it? My mother um, is always laughing and telling me that um, we have a, an ice maker on our, on our refrigerator, which probably everybody does. And, you know, it, it stopped dispensing the ice. There's something it needs, it needs a part on it. And my husband has just been so busy and <laughs> doesn't really care. He can't dispense ice. Um, sometimes it will and sometimes it won't. But I don't even try anymore. I just go into the the bucket that the ice is sitting in and I dig it out for my water every day. And my mother's, you know, I was like, why are you, I can't believe how noisy you are when you're getting ice. And it's like, how could you not understand how noisy I am? So she's, at night, I'm always trying to uh, be very, very quiet when I get my ice out. So as just, or in the morning, I should say, because I get my water first thing in the morning. And I'm always trying to be so quiet. I just think it's so funny that my getting ice and the fact that she's down below where I am right now, she can hear me rolling around. And if I drop something, she hears it. And um, whatever I'm doing, she can hear it. And she used to always come running up the stairs. What happened? You know, if she would hear something. Well, she doesn't do that anymore, so we've made some progress. Um, however, if I did ever fall down or hurt myself or anything, she wouldn't come to my rescue because she just doesn't pay any attention anymore. And I don't know where I was heading with this story, guys. I don't remember. I think I just thought of it for some silly... I just dropped something here and actually broke it. I, I dropped it in my Mickey room. I had a, a Bambi from back when my daughter was a baby, she's 37, so um, it was a trip we made to Disney when she was an infant when we were moving to Florida, actually. And I had it on top of my window where I have a shelf, and it fell off this morning and broke. I'm going to go on eBay and see if I can find one, because I don't think they have them anymore. We've been looking for them the last few times we've been to Disney. Is Bambi with the little flower on his tail, and he's turned around looking at it. I want one of those. Um, broke mine. She'd already broke it, but I glued the pieces back and I turned them around so you couldn't see it. Well, then when I dropped it this morning, it is history. Okay, now I got my fishbowl ready. Now, what I did is I can't remember where they got these, but I'm going to say Hobby Lobby. Well, let me see if it tells me here Ashland Floral Accents. They were on sale, but I don't remember where I got them. I want to say at Hobby Lobby. They're kind of they're, they're kind of a grassy thing. I got them in different colors. That's what I put in the bottom here to cover how I attached my pegs. There's foam underneath it. I've thrown some of the rocks. You can see if you look real close, some of the rocks I threw all the way around and I picked out two um, florals that I want in it. And now I'm going to put Dory and Nemo in there. Now what I want to do, ideally, is we're going to figure this out. I do not want all that stick showing, so I'm going to cut some of that stick off. And then I'm going to take him and stick him down into my foam. There we go. And I'm going to turn him a little bit. I think I'll turn him that way. And I don't like him, he's too close. I want to put him down so he's not quite as close. There we go. And none of it is showing. So what I want to do is I'm going to drop glue down, which isn't going to show, but in order to ship this, I do want to make sure 
that it lays and the pieces don't move all over the place. Now we're going to take Dory and put her down. Look at it, oh, look at it smoking from my glue. This is nuts. Ah, you got to make sure you have foam, something at the bottom so it doesn't melt because remember this is plastic. But I have foam in the bottom. So now I'm going to take and put Dory in there. And figure out where I want Dory to be in which direction. I think I'm going to put Dory the other direction. I could have made these a little bit smaller so they were easier to get in. It's the stick that's making it hard. And come on. It went in pretty easy. Why can't I get it out? I don't really need to get it out. Let me get it stuck down. Move this floor away. And I am going to put him, her, right here. You have to make sure you feel it punch through your foam. Okay, there we go. I've got Dory in place. And let me drop some glue down there. And what I think I'm going to drop down there where I drop the glue, I'm going to drop a rock. I want to make sure that these do not move when they're shipping. And I want to make sure I don't burn myself as I try and do this. So let me see. There we go. It's on top of that. So we got a little bit more rock. You know what I'm going to do too? I'm going to throw a couple seashells in there. And yes, I know it's crowded. I don't care. I'm going to throw a few seashells. Because I can. And. Oh, so I got a little bit of glue right here. Let me see if I can get that piece of glue out. Gone. Okay, and now I'm going to throw that down there. And. Got it. And I got a blue one here, and I'm going to put that in front of Nemo. And these images were from just uh, um, Etsy search for Nemo and, and I think I just said Nemo. Um, I can't remember if this was a, a package that was from the Finding Dory. Dory? Is her name Dory? Yeah. I don't, but it doesn't matter because those were the two, only two that I needed for this. So there we go. We have a fish bowl. And we've got Nemo and Dory in it. And then we're going to take this guy. I don't want his stuff to run his accent essentials. So I'm going to put this down. And then he is going to be with his little fish bowl and his little bucket. So we're going to turn around. Let me see. I'm going to put the bucket here or in this hand. I'm going to put the bucket in this hand. I'm going to pop, poke a hole. And here's what I'm going to do. Poke a hole. Take this out. Get my crocodile. Turn that off. And I'm going to put this one on the big hole. And poke a hole in his hand. There we go. And then I'm going to put the sand pail in his hand and put it back together, maybe. And squeezy shut using my wire cutter to do that. Does that not make a whole lot of sense? And Jenna has made the other centerpieces that go with this of him holding the balloon with this number and his name on it. So this is what his centerpiece is going to look like. And I don't think I'm going to glue them together. I think I'm just going to keep this as one. And I think this should be probably his main um, 
centerpiece. I will get some pictures taken and the next, oh no, 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 no. Ah, no, 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 no. I want this in here. Again, this is some stuff that I'm experimenting with now. I'm sure that uh, with, with time and effort, I will get it relatively easy because the way I'm doing it right now doesn't make <laughs> doesn't make this look too easy. But winding this around, that's how I broke Bambi. I was putting the lights up because I had that shelf full of little glass um, Disney characters and um, knocked, I was trying to wrap them around the pieces so that they didn't fall and that didn't work so good because it fell. And if I had not done that, it would not have fallen. So I defeated, defeated my whole purpose, guys. And so all the lights are in there. Probably should have put the lights in. Well, I, I couldn't have. I couldn't put the lights in. Again, I will be experimenting with how I'm going to be doing these. So again, it doesn't look like it's so hard. There, let me see. Let me see. Let me see if this is going to work. Yes, it is. I am totally good with that. Put them on. It'll be easier for me to shove them where they need to be. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. Then I will take some pictures. And what I would do at the party is I would take and I would stand this fishbowl right on the right on top of the container here. The I would put the fishbowl on top. Um, and then after the party, this can be used in a child's room as a nightlight. It stays on for eight hours and shuts off for 16. So I will get some pictures uploaded for you and I hope you enjoy. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.